in our so, uh, in our third scenario, okay, in a case where we are given, let's say x minus 2y is equal to 0, and we are asked to indicate where x minus 2y is greater or equal to 0 will lie, okay? Now, in this case, we are going to find our x and y intercepts. So, in our solution, we have x minus 2y is equal to 0. So, for x intercepts, put y equals to 0. So, x minus 2 times 0 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. So, we have x is 0, y is also 0. Then, for y intercept, for y intercept, put x equals to 0. So, when x is 0, we have 0 minus 2y is equal to 0. Minus 2y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0. So, we have the point 0, 0. So this means that if we have our OXY plane like this, okay, and we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Now, I want to find the point 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the point 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, we can't draw our line when it's like this because we don't know whether our line is this way, this way, this way, this way. We don't know how the line is, okay? But all we know is the line is passing through where? The origin. So now, for us to get the other coordinates, this is one way you can solve it. You have x minus 2y is equal to 0. Now, you can give the coefficient of x to y or you can give the coefficient of y to x. So the coefficient of x in this case is 1. Okay? I'm going to give it to y. So I'm going to say that when y is equal to 1. Okay? So I'm giving the coefficient of x to y. So when y is equal to 1. When y is 1, we shall have x minus 2 times 1 is equal to 0. So x minus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. This means that x is 2 and then y is what? 1. Or, if you like, you can give the coefficient of y to x. So I can say that when x is equal to negative 2, I'm giving the coefficient of y to x. Okay? So I have negative 2 minus 2y is equal to 0. Minus 2y is equal to 2. y is equal to negative 1. So if y is negative 1, x is what? Negative 2. So I have the point negative 2, negative 1. Remember, we always write our x coordinate first before our y. So x is negative 2, y is negative 1. Now I go to my OXY plane and then I draw my line. So I have 0, 0, which is the first intercept for the x and y. Then I have 2, 1. When x is 2, y is 1. So somewhere here, I mark it. And then when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. Somewhere here, I also mark it. Then you pick your rule. You draw a straight line. So when you draw a straight line, it will pass through all the three points without any mistake. Eh? There wouldn't be any margin for error at all. It will pass through all three points. So sometimes, all you need is, you need your 0, 0, okay? And then either of these points, either the 2, 1 or the negative 2, negative 1. So you pick either of them, 0, 0 and 2, 1. When you draw it, it will pass through the third point. Or 0, 0 and negative 2, negative 1. Or if you like, get all the three points and then draw it. Okay? Now, we have to test where x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 0 will lie. So in our test, we have to find whether x minus 2y greater than 0 will be below the line or above the line. So we need to test. Now let's pick a point above the line. So picking a point above the line, I can pick this point. x is negative 4, y is 4. So let's pick x is negative 4, y is 4. Now let's use this to test. Now x is negative 4. So negative 4 minus 2 times y is 4 should be greater or equal to 0. So we have negative 4 minus 8 is greater or equal to 0. Negative 12 is greater or equal to 0. Now is negative 12 greater than 0? This is a false statement. Okay? Because it is false, our solution will lie below. Then we shade below the line. Okay? 
Or if we like, we can test with, um, uh, let's say, a, a point below the line. Never pick a point on the line. Never pick a point on the line. Don't pick a point on this line. Pick a point below it or above it. So let's pick a point below the line. Okay, we have x minus 2y is greater than 0. Let's find out. Uh, let's, let's pick, let's say, x is 4, y is negative 4. So x is 4, y is negative 4. Remember, the first one I picked was negative 4, for which was here. Now I'm picking 4, negative 4. When x is 4, y is negative 4. So we test. When x is 4, we shall have 4 minus 2 times y is also negative 4 to be greater or equal to 0. This will be 4. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And negative negative is 4, so plus 8 is greater or equal to 0. 12 is greater than 0. And this is a true statement because in reality, 12 is really greater than 0. So because this is a point and we tested with it and it is true, it means that our solution lies below the line. So this is a case where the line is passing through the origin. And this is how we go about to solve it, okay? Now we are going to pick different, different lines. And we are going to show how their solution can be given or can be found in an area, in a given area, okay? So assuming I draw, like I have my OXY plane, I draw my first line, the solution is going up. I draw another line, solution is going, let's say, this way. So you can see that the two lines are meeting here, okay, in this region. Then you can have another line coming this way, going down. The three of them are still meeting here. And then you are asked to indicate where they are all meeting. Then it means this is where they are meeting. That's the region, okay? So sometimes you give the vertices, you name their, uh, where they all meet. Uh, let's say you name them vertices, let's say A, B, C, okay? And you name the vertices, let's say this point is 5, 7 or something, and so on and so forth. Okay, then you can be asked to. Okay, you let's solve an example. Let's solve an example. 